big city. Our favorite sexy ladies are back and looking better than ever in Sex in the City 2. And this time around, we find out what happens when you take all that shiny Chanel and vintage Dior to the sand dunes of Abu Dhabi. I don't think we're in Kansas anymore. And here you are, riding camels and couture, trudging through the desert. You know, honestly, after I gave birth to my son, I said like right away, I said, I can't wait to do this again. And I, I feel that way. I know it was hard work, and I know we had long hours, and I know it was hot, and I know it was constantly challenging to us in the most unthinkable ways. But my, what I recall is this amazing once-in-a-lifetime experience. What do you think? This is fabulous. That's my phone. Oh, my God. Who's her long distance provider? Were you nervous at all about taking the girls outside of the city? No, that's the question of the day. It's so interesting. You know, I just trust Michael Patrick and Sarah Jessica. They're so worried about everything all the time that I just, I just roll with it. And I just thought, you know, we, we have this incredible fan base all the way around the world. Let's kind of do something inclusive. And I thought it was a fantastic idea and, and it was just so much fun to actually do. I love Samantha Single because Samantha Single is so much more fun than Samantha in a relationship. She's just not a relationship girl. And she also loves these women so much. They're her family. They're her marriage. Could we get another round of champagne? You are fun in Abu Dhabi. I think the movie is just fun and surprising. And uh, I think, you know, the last movie was so great and beautiful. And this is really uh, just kind of a fun romp.